This week, the tour returns to Congressional Country Club in Bethesda, Maryland for the AT&T National. Last year, Nick Watney carded a bogey-free final round and posted his second win of the 2011 season at Arana Mink Golf Club. And with that win, Watney solidified himself as a PGA Tour heavyweight. In this week's field are 14 major winners, including tournament host and 2009 champion Tiger Woods, as well as the defending champion Nick Watney and past champion KJ Choi. With just eight weeks until the PGA Tour playoffs, the race for the FedEx Cup is in full swing. PGA Tour is proud to bring you the race for the 2012 FedEx Cup. and the 2012 AT&T National. After two years in Philadelphia, while the U.S. Open took over here, it's back to Congressional Country Club. Bethesda, Maryland, just 12 miles northwest of the White House in a club that brought businessmen and politicians together back in the 1920s through the years. So much history here. It has been the host course for three U.S. Opens, a PGA Championship, and a senior U.S. Open. Terry Gannon along with Sir Nick Faldo out to the play at nine. Jimmy Walker at three under, playing very well. This for birdie, Nick. Yeah, thank you, Terry. Uh, that was nicely done. Yeah, 91 degrees at the moment. And it's going to, as you said, going to get hotter through the weekend. Got 19, two 99s and a couple of hundreds predicted for the next few yeah, days. Yeah, so wear your short sleeves and, and your shorts out here. It might be tough walking the fairways. Our Titleist leaderboard brought to you by the number one ball in golf. Bo Van Pelt at four under. Jimmy Walker also at four under with the birdie just a moment ago. Vijay Singh, who's won 34 times, hasn't won since 2008. The last time he had a share of the first round lead, 2007, right here at the AT&T National. He had it until a few moments ago. Hunter Mahan, one of the celebrated names in the field this week, 120 players here. Stuart Sink, Mark Leishman coming off that win last week. Dustin Johnson back off the injury, playing pretty well, including a victory a few weeks ago. At nine, Robert Garrigus, this for birdie. Remember Garrigus in oh, that open. There we go. <laughs> Making putts like that. Finished tied for third here in the U.S. Open. So one over is five off the lead right now. After a couple of bogeys, getting one back at least. Par five sixth, playing 555. Bo Van Pelt's fourth. Will it? No, it won't. Definitely, you know, the rule of uh, not short-siding itself really does apply on this golf course. And we got Pat Perez here. He's on the 16th hole, 579 yards. He's there in two-thirds shot now. This hole cut back in the back right portion of the green. This is beautiful. And Pat Perez is going to go to two under par after he taps that one in. Nice. The sixth, trying to chip this in for par now. Bo Van Pelt. Yeah, this is another. He really did set this golf oh, course. He did it. There we go. <laughs> That's what he was trying to do, folks. Took the pin out. And now let's go back to nine. Right. Harmon, plus four, but this putt, lengthy birdie putt. Dun dun dun. How'd you know? I had a funny feeling. Just like that, plus three. And a wry smile. All right, Nick, here we go. I like this putt here, right to left. Billy, you like this? Yeah, I think it You might, like it? Do you it, feel it? It could hang a little right. Do you feel it? I don't. Oh, wow, Billy doesn't feel it. Billy, you want it back? You want it back, Billy? I gave you a chance to take it back, and you didn't. I didn't. No, that's all you stuck with it. I like that. You, you make you form your opinion and then you stick by your opinion. Never deviate. Good birdie. To the 14th where Robert Garrigus has this for birdie. Yeah. Garrigus has coaxed that one down the hill at 14. 
Come back after bogey at the previous hole. Back to nine. We'll tap in for Bo and a great opening day. In fact, the best that we have seen in the clubhouse so far. 67. VJ with a 68 earlier today. A couple of 69s, including Billy Hurley, Naval Academy uh, graduate, Annapolis resident. 14, Jason Day has a chance for a birdie. Garrigus would have been watching this one carefully. Look at this one just keep on rolling. Beautifully done. <laughs> see just how speedy the greens are. A nice birdie birdie after that bogey at 12, and he gets to one under. To 16. Timmy Walker now for his par on this par five. That's a lot of work, wasn't it? Tiger's got a chance to get back to even par. This putt here is so quick. Should wiggle a little right. Just did wiggle, but not enough to miss. Good birdie. Found the fairway off the tee with less than a driver. And a nice putt. Just coax it down the hill. JJ Henry trying to close it out with a birdie at nine. And he gets it to drop. Not a bad way to finish. To the 15th for Watney's second. That left for a birdie. Jason Day, about 40 feet to go, 20 feet of green to work with. Ooh, looks as if he played it. Wide open face, and thank you very much. Four birdies in the last five holes. To three under par. Well, hold. To the 15th. Wow. Explain your well. Yeah, the, that that's appliance of science with that grip. I'm going to try that one, Chris DeMarco. That one worked. Got that left hand super high and really locks that left wrist. That's what you got to experiment with. Three to play, three over for DeMarco as we go to 17. Oh, Garrigus. And to brush another one in for just. Nudging it in there with the putter from the fringe. Oh, oh. <laughs> well done. He gets the extended putter of the year award, doesn't he? <laughs> we went from 27 inches now to 46 and three quarters. He looks more comfortable with this one. Yeah. <laughs> he is just waiting. But he, he doesn't actually anchor it into his body. He does the, uh, the elbow thingy, point the elbow at the whole thingy thingy. Well, you know. one of those four birdies, three yeah. bogeys, one under par for today. Bo Van Pelt was the co-leader through 18 holes and the only one to post a bogey-free round. DJ Singh carded an impressive seven birdies and sits just one stroke off the pace. The second round is next. Terry Gannon back with Sir Nick Faldo. Gary McCord, Peter Osterhaus, Billy Andrade, and Steve Sands. Take a look at some of the action earlier today. Robert Garrigus, the long hitter. This his third at the par five ninth. Already four under at this point, Nick. Yeah, this was uh, rather nicely done because a lot of, I don't think anybody made that uh, putt on that ninth green from outside of four feet. Very difficult hole location. Made his birdie to get it to five under. Jimmy Walker playing well too. Third shot here. Oh, unlucky. Tapped in for par. Tiger Woods plus one at this point, but the 48 foot putt for Eagle at 16. Crash man wall up. <laughs> Bit of a little spring in his step. He started on the back nine today, started on 10, made a bogey at one after making the turn. Make a putt at four. Yeah, nice putt there. And he makes a nice putt at the fifth for, uh, oh, it's just his second shot. At the fifth little dog leg from right to left. 
And a couple of awkward little humps and bumps in this green. Got to get in the right section. Similar numbers overall to, to yesterday. In fact, the same in terms of fairways hit. Seven, hit 11 greens. He actually played nicely. There was only one drive. The one he hit, hit down the six was a little little further left and left. You know, a lot of the, the misses were just hopping off the off the fairway line. Nice little controlled, probably a low wedge or something into eight here. And come back. Looked for a moment like it was going to come all the way back, but it would make the birdie putt. So his second birdie on that nine coming in. Then his third at nine, bit of trouble. When he hit a good tee shot, he hit 350, had a go at the green, came up down there. And it, well, he's quite fortunate because that is a hard false front. That just kind of grabbed that right hand corner. And as I said earlier, we haven't seen anybody make anything on nine. 68 today for the tournament host and a man who won here back in 2009, the last time it was held here at Congressional Country Club. Garrigus, Walker, DeYoung on top at five under. Mahan with this for birdie. Can he walk it in? Oh, good up and down, wasn't that, that one? Yeah, beauty. They're wow. at five under sharing the lead after the up and down out of the bunker. VJ Singh at 16. Well, VJ was over in the left rough for his third shot and kind of it's really thick over there and these guys can't even actually get the ball hard to get the ball in the green from over there. They're only hitting from about 80 90 yards but he had it 45 feet to the right of the hole. BJ one over par for the day two under for the tournament three shots back. Last week's winner Mark Leishman getting set here at nine. Yeah he won't mind a bit of heat. Was he lad. Wow, can he deal with that full front? Flag's just on seven paces. Sounded a bit sclaffy, didn't it? Whoa! Well, that'll work. How about this? Cool, it's that's like <laughs> steering it down there, isn't that the route to take? Wow. Leishman would go on to convert for birdie. 18. 131 yards for VJ, two under. Coming off a birdie. Yeah, all they can do is kind of throw it into the middle of the green. Oh, I see that's back here. Oh, that's, he's far enough down. Oh, VJ, very clever. As Not I said, throw it to the back of the green and spin it back. <laughs> if you're from 130 yards, if you're a smidgen further, you can't do that. Miller Jagus here at nine. Just one outside the cut line right now. Grinding, 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 isn't he? And, and overall this yeah. year. Yeah. There we go, that helps. Jeez, look at the, the arms. Mad Keen cyclist. Mad Keen with his physical workouts. 2% body fat. Same as Nick. To 10. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a two. There's what we need here. Get something going. Fire this thing right up. Two eighteen. Beautiful approach for VJ. Looking for a second birdie in a row. Just a couple of feet, but down the hill, and he's got another one. Putter's giving him problems this year, but not to... Uh, not on those. Adam Scott. Plus two well under the cut. Trying to probably get back to even. That would be his goal. Get back to yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Get back to even. You're only five shots back. You can make a, a goal of it on the weekend. That's what you're looking for. Set some goals. Let's go to 14. And on, on to Mayhan after that uh, very questionable second shot. 35 yards to go. Spin and trajectory right to skip it up that slope and not get the grab that he wanted. But he gets, if you go over this green, what a shot. That was pretty bold to get it close to the back of the green. If he goes too far, he has a very, very difficult chip. 
but it worked out well. He's going to escape with a par. I don't think he planned that. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> you wonder. Yeah, you we're going to look at the ride smartly. He's having a little <laughs> chat. To, yeah. We need some lip reading here, Billy. I don't think he planned that. Yeah, because he said, didn't he say, can we play that again? Can we turn up the audio? Because I'm sure he said get down <laughs> when he hit it. Meanwhile, awkward stance for Davis Love. Peter, a terrible eye here on a downslope. We, green to work with. we can use the mayhem slope then over the on that corner. Oh, this is beautiful. Go, 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 go. Almost 50 feet of green to work with. That's a great result. Both would go on to convert for par. To 15. Ryan Moore has this for par. So the group ahead of Dustin Johnson and Hunter Mahan and Davis Love finishing up on the green. Yeah, that's just to stay right there in one shot. Well, actually, cut line right now has jumped to six over. Really? Yeah, you got 80 players. My goodness. At plus six or better. And let's go now to the sixth hole. VJ getting set four under just one off the lead. Yeah, VJ going really nicely. It's VJ trying to bat in there. 214. All oh, perfectly done. Well, that hit hard too, didn't really it? Really well played. Get that behind the flag safely. So looking good. It's a very nice stroke here, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the stroke. Watch the pace of the stroke. Holds the follow through nicely. See that? See, right. that's how you do it right there. Nick, he, he, you like that when he holds the face right on the line. And I love it. Now, VJ Singh for an eagle. Looks like a little spaceship. Come on, that's a good effort. Get there. Oh, oh holy. Oh, right had a look. Right across the face, had a little peep. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't moved any faster than that since he's come on Very TV. sensible, because yeah. seven energy. Another birdie. To 15. Cameron Tringali trying to get under par. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. There you go, indeed. Right. So add his name to the list. Now 17 who are under par. And 16. Stewart sink to get it to four under. That'd be two back. Yeah, he's the. Oh, hello. Yes. At the 18th, Hunter Mahan for birdie. That's just beautiful. He owes uh, Davis Love a, a beer for that read. Three birdies, the last four holes going out, two of the last three coming in. And then Hunter Mahan with a two shot lead in his 36. Whole total pretty impressive here in, in the heat today. The third round is next. A most unusual day on the PGA Tour. This was this morning. Tree removal after damaging winds overnight, estimated to be gusting at 80 miles an hour, tore down trees over 40 in all, making Congressional unplayable and delaying the start of the third round for almost six hours. Widespread damage all across the Washington DC area and you can see that this morning when they came out and saw the full thrust of the storm there was just no way that the golf tournament could be on schedule but two hours ago the area was cleared enough it is again a bit bizarre because they are not allowing spectators those that held tickets on the grounds today parking issues concerns too about possible tree limb falling uh, situations later on so it's it's virtually empty except for the golfers out on the course and that includes Tiger Woods who just a moment ago over at the first had this for birdie coming up a round of 68 in Bethesda Maryland Hunter Mahan is uh, about to begin round three coming off a. Beautiful round of 65 yesterday in the afternoon. 
He'll be playing with Jimmy Walker and Brendan DeJong. And you see Tiger with the opening birdie is tied for 10. And we're at the second hole and Tiger out of the bunker at two. He tugged his five iron to this point. Good lie, simple shot. Good chance to make his par there as we head back to one. Pat Perez is at one. Playing with Robert Garrigus and soon you'll know. Rounds of 69 69 for Pat. Good playing. What a start. Perez would convert for a birdie. Tiger for birdie. Uphill, breaking right all the way, about 34 feet. Yeah, you can see it. Almost see the ripples in the green kind of up and down. It's tracking nicely. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Hello, hello. Yeah. Two out of the hello, first hello. three. Yes. Well, he made a 48 footer yesterday at the 16th for Eagle. Now makes another one. And back to the first. Garrigus with the. Oh, with, now with the long putter, very happy with it. Doesn't actually anchor it to his chest. And there he goes. Big yeah, wave yeah. to the gallery. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on my own this week. We go to five and Jonathan Vegas has been quiet this year after such a great rookie season last year. And that is three under par in his first five holes. Look at that four threes and a four. And here's a chance for De Young to make par. Yeah, not as much right to left in this one. You have to be careful because he has a kind of a little similar move. Oh, oh nice ram that in. Yeah, that's a beautiful putt. Took the break out of that one. Let's go back to five. And second shot for Pat Perez. He's at four under. Oh, lovely shot. Left himself an uphill birdie from inside six feet. He should get to five. Well, this is a part of the game. David Ferdy, he's been working on short game. Well, he's been working on it the first four holes, that's for sure. He's going to throw this one in. This is the one that every amateur wants to play. Low, bounce, bounce, and check. And or not. To check, yes. You know, it's going to come back. Oh. Yeah, I thought that's what he was doing. Good call. Yeah, I figured that. Mayhem with two putt and fall one shot off the lead. Over to Tiger. Yeah, it looks like the area where the players mm -hmm. exit the green. About to play his fourth, Peter. Yeah, he's going to, it's not a particularly good lie. He's going to have to swing as if he's going to hit it probably 50, 60 feet, even though he's only got 25 to go. Big chunk right on the back of the ball, so he can't really get club face onto the ball. They played that really well. Hello. I would say that was really well. Really. <laughs> I just saw the bounce and wow. Wow, that could be a that could be a two shot difference there, Peter. Well that looked like a four all the way, right off the tee shot. <laughs> Is it Memorial all over again? <laughs> it, yeah. That wasn't quite that difficult a shot, but it was very difficult. It was difficult to hold. <laughs> just difficult to get it the right the right length. The professional yeah. duff. Wow, brilliant. What a great shot. And he's only one off the lead now. God, and the dozen fans got a real treat there. <laughs> Just listen to the roar. <laughs> As we go to the fifth. Well, we saw the beautiful approach for Pat Perez for the birdie. Uh, nonchalantly knocks that one in. Perez now five under, just one behind the lead. Now oh, let's go to eight. Yeah, the short par four, Jonathan Vegas for another birdie. Yes, Jonathan Vegas now four under today. That is a very good card. To the sixth, and no has this for Eagle. It gives you an indication of the undulations, how, you know, the change of direction of the grain, how shiny this one is. Would have been just the second eagle of the week at the sixth. Be a little tap in birdie to get back to even for the day. Yeah, they've had two really tough hole locations. One right at the bottom of the slope in that left hand side, and then one about a two yards from the water on the right hand side. Over to eight. Second shot for Bovan Pelton moments ago from 120. 
Yeah, out of some heavy rough, and he managed to gouge this out very nicely. Front right pin today, all three just uh, treating that with the respect it deserved. Over to six. And that's the birdie for Perez. And he joins Mahan and De Young at 600 par. Bow Van Pelt. Definitely a little more square to square. And the perfect speed. Getting set now for Hunter Mahan's third shot over at the sixth. Well, he struck it beautifully. Spot on. Wow. How about that? That's so, a thing of beauty. Is it ever? So he's going to get back on the board here with the first birdie of the day. Let's go all the way to the ninth green. Here's Vegas, Nick, for birdie. Have a look at this stroke. He bashes it in. It's pretty good to me. Five under on that side, 31. Over at the six now, the young with his second putt. This has a suggestion where it might go the other way. I think so as well, David. I think that tiny ridge just behind him feeds down to the hole just fractionally. He likes to ram him. There you go. Very well, good. That is a great four. I mean, after, I mean, this is such a hard green to hit in two. Yeah. Let's go to nine. A little bit left of the hole. He should spin back. Yeah, he's coming back down that little gully. Yeah. Woods would go on to par the hole. Let's go now to the par five six. I like this length right here. Like his chances. Dink. And birdie for Hunter and for DeYoung. So they share it at seven under par. And Bovan Pelt. He's got a good marker there with Tiger's ball. Try and split the difference. Get up there and stay up there. Easy now. Okay. Yeah, Which good. one's the easier putt? Oh, definitely that one. Definitely oh. uphill. Over to seven. And Jimmy Walker, that high finish, trying to just hold on. Nestle it up there. A little right. Oh, this could be really good. And Walker would tap in for birdie. He's got a nine. And now Bo Van Pelt. Nice. That's 32. Yep, nice one two to that stroke. Might be a little warmer here than it is in Miami today as we watch Brendan de Jong. 117 yards, just a sand wedge. And a pretty popular spot there. Just left of the hole and spun it back for an uphill putt. Couple under par through seven holes. Hunter Mahan after the bogey is one behind now, his second. Also with a sand wedge. Really hit that one crisply. Mm, nice trim divot. Uh, two beautiful sand wedge shots there from Hunter Mahan at six and eight, David. Beautifully played. Both De Jong and Mahan would go on to par the hole. As we approach uh, about a half hour out before our exit time. Here in the third round. Let's go back out to the tenth. Well, it's all compressed because you just can't get anything going on this golf course. It is very difficult in perfect shape. Big rough, big long par 70 golf course. You know, it's just right at just under 7,600 yards or 71, excuse me. And uh, it's all it's all you want. Green's fast. And when you do hit a good shot in here like Tiger has, it's still a putt that's really hard to read. You got a read on this one, Peter? Come on. Not much. It's going to stay inside the hole. OK. Good speed, good speed, good speed. Oh, that just about, just about went all the way around the cup. Literally a 360. Okay, 
Okay, and then all of a sudden you go birdie 10. That's good. You got 11, and then you can go a little bit. But that's a beautiful putt right there. That was fascinating. You never see one that kind of comes, goes in and comes all the way back around the hole and goes back in where it entered. Brendan DeJong takes a one-stroke lead into the final round and is still in search of his first tour win, but Bo Van Pelt, Tiger Woods, and Sung Yul No are all lurking at six under, and the final round is next. We're getting set for what looks like a thrilling day, the final round of the AT&T National outside of Washington, D.C. Adam Scott earlier with a second shot to the eighth, setting up birdie. He's five under for the day and making a spectacular charge. Tiger Woods began the day one back, playing in the final group. This was earlier, walking in a birdie at the fifth to take the lead outright by one over Scott and others. And now we're going to pick him up alive over at the sixth. He actually had seven iron into this par five in two, went over the green and left. And this birdie putt for two in a row. Considering it was a seven iron second shot into the five par, he's going to be disappointed with his par. Playing with Bo Van Pelt, who's at minus six, just one back. And Brendan DeYoung, who's also just one behind. Look at this leaderboard. Woods, the leader, but Adam Scott is charging. He's almost a full hour up ahead on the golf course. Let's go to the eighth hole. And the penultimate group here on the green of the par four. Soon you'll know. Yes, from long range. 21 year old, youngest rookie on tour this year. Now this is over at the sixth birdie putt and it's hold by Van Pelt to pull even with Woods at seven under par. And on the green here's Billy Hurley. It's interesting we've had about a dozen guys reach the green in two but only uh, two or three birdies. This ninth green has been just so difficult to read. Hello oh, God for Hurley. 29 year old who was on active duty for three years. Stationed over in Pearl Harbor. OK, now this is just down the hill, Peter, and fast and hook. And uh, oh, he's rolling those in the middle. He's been really walking those super yeah. quick ones in. Yeah. yeah. Hunter Mahan trying to get back into it. And he does with a birdie at the ninth. Open with one, closes with one on the first nine. He's still there. He's, he's gone, for, gone almost totally under the radar, but he's two back, right in it. This guy, how's he putt? Well, he's ranked third on the tour in putting. He can get it done. In fact, all of his stats are just fantastic. Last. Last year, he went from 144th in putting to third this year, and that was the only thing really holding him back. The ninth, soon you'll know if the birdie drops, and it did. Two in a row. We're at the 12th, and Jason Day has a putt for birdie. He was second here. Mm. The U.S. Open, and he is in the mix. Well, maybe another Aussie could uh, squeeze past Adam Scott and post a score. Well, let's get to nine. And now Tiger for the outright lead. It's probably been the most difficult putt to read, I think, for the guys this week. There you go. Back in front by one. And he knows it. A little fist pump to himself. If you look back at bogey free rounds for Tiger, 2010 and 11, two bogey free, and in 2012, in just 36 rounds, he's already had four. Could be five today if he continues. Now out to the 11th for Van Pelt's second. From 188. Bear in mind, in this heat, the ball does go at least a club farther. Players know that. That's a great shot. 
Well, that's exactly what he needs to do. Apply the pressure and make a birdie here would be a big one. Now over at 17, Adam Scott has a birdie opportunity here from long range, just over 30 feet, but pretty straight. It's looking good. Birdie for Adam Scott. He's back to five under in third place. Yeah, but he went 5-5-5 five, five, five there. He needed 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Yeah. He would have been tied, Nick. He just uh, stumbled at the wrong time. Now back at 11 from just over six feet. Bo Van Pelt, after Brendan de Jong missed his, he made bogey. Wow. What a three that is. Great birdie there for Van Pelt. He now goes to a tie at the top. Three in front now, third place. Tied with Tiger at eight under. Let's go over to 15. And yeah, no with the second shot up the hill. So it's a little, feels like there's an extra effort to carry right across that right hand corner with the angle of the green. Oh, fabulous shot. Oh, here we go. Keep coming. Uh, what I'm talking about, if you can get one little simple brush in, that's an easy birdie. Maybe birdie the next. Well, we need to definitely birdie the next. That could get him back to six. You would never think that this is the second most difficult mm. hole today. And now it shouldn't be much in here for Bo Van Pelt after hitting driver off the tee. Now he's got only 139 left. Perfect lie. Also going with a nine iron. Here's a diagonal ridge in this green, kind of like uh, back left down to to the front right corner in front of the flag. So you can't pull it left because it would actually keep it up there. So it forces you to go, basically go for it. Good contact. There you go, he's done it again. A lovely shot. Wow, a good shot indeed. We get a peach at 11 and 12, and another one here at 15. Total driving this year, eighth. Similar to last year's numbers, and his putting, his putting has greatly improved from a year ago. Let's get a little read here on Tiger's birdie putt. David Faraday, what do you see in it? Well, he's just had a look at Brendan De Jong, um, who was a little further over towards the. Uh, left edge of the green as Tiger looks at the putt um, and it, it broke to his left. I think this one's you know, not going to break that much. It is a little right to left and uh, it's the sort of putt Jim that you know three or four years ago you would be almost certain he would make. But one thing's for certain David he's going to repay the favor that Bo Van Pelt gave him on the last hole. He's going to give Bo a good read. Yeah. With this putt. Seeing it, you kept thinking, "Is it enough? Is it gonna? Is it gonna crawl there?" And so often as is the case, it just tumbles yeah. in. Well, these things must be running closer to 14 and 15 now in the stimp. Oh, it's tracking obviously perfectly. Oh, that was ideal. Well, if you have to give your fellow competitor the read on a putt, you might as well make it. Well, now, as I spoke about earlier, it's that that match play strategy. Just he, Bo Van Pelt has to have been expecting that to happen, so he can just keep the heart rate uh, relatively close. 
to what it was before and, and make this one. Peter, you thought that he would learn a lot off the Tiger's pot. Not exactly the same angle, but what do you think? Well, it's pretty close to the same angle. And, and you know, he knows what he has to do here. The read should not be a problem. This is just all about execution. It's been a great match, and it continues. Tied going to the 16th. How about that? I mean, it's been like that all weekend long between these two. It really has. Okay, Billy Hurley's in the bunker. Lashed it out in the fairway and then got to this position. Good position. He's about 15, 18 feet away. Oh, look out. Oh, yes. After flying the green, Van Pelt has this chip at the 17th to get up and down for par. And the, the ground underneath there is very, very firm. The, the grass has been trampled down over the last four days, and it could very well bounce and shoot this ball straight over the green. Well, I mean, if you get it on the green going this line, I think that's a superb achievement. I mean, this could be the tournament right here. Threw it up high. Oh, that was. He could not have landed that any better than he did, and nope. that's exactly what I thought. He walked up to me in the 16th fairway, and he says, "I don't know how Tiger puts up with this every time he plays." Peter, that's so true. A lot of people have said the same thing. A lot of players. How do they put up with that every day? Now, this chip for Tiger is not an automatic, Ian. This, he's got to get it bumping up over that ridge, and this is very touchy. Bump and run with the gap wedge. He nipped it nicely. And it's better to be five feet short than past the hole there, I can promise you that. Very, very quick from behind. Out 18 for Mahan's second. Gets a little forceful or doesn't have that true smoothness of flow to it. This is how you do it. This is how you find it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Wow. He'll have that punt for the second straight round of 73. Well, this no. one to take the advantage, David, take the one shot lead to the last hole, just six feet. Yeah, this will be the six most valuable feet of the tournament so far. Not unusual to see that statistic uh, 11 from 11, so he has missed a, a three of these so far. It's a par at 17 and a one shot lead over Bovan Pelt here at the AT and T National Congressional Country Club. It's been a wonderful host. Bo, a little cleaning up to do here, just 15 inches or so for the bogey five. And the damage for Bo there was really the tee shot. If it had just kicked a little harder back into the fairway, we've had a nine iron to the flag. And unfortunately, he got a flyer at the wrong time. And that's bogey bogey at 16 17 for Bo. And like every other player before them, they will shake the hand of that young man who will replace the American flag here. We've had so many of the military personnel and, and so many throughout the week from the Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force have all been here. Back to 18. There's the birdie by Hunter Mahan. Bo Van Pelt would love to be able to buy that birdie about right now. Well, Tiger has hit one 345 yards down here. A good 40 yards past Bo. Yeah, Bo has 222 left. Tiger has 188. You've got to have to go at the right side of the camera tower. Yeah. 
swings off there a little bit. And I don't know how. And you can see the space between them. And Bo getting a little counsel here to sling it off that right side. You have to do that here toward that camera tower. On the right side of it. Try to keep it out. You got to win downhill. Yeah. It'll split the difference between the flag and the breeze, doesn't it? Yeah. The edge of that tower. Yeah, but I like it. Right at the right side of that camera tower. He's got to strike it really well though, with that slight downslope. Well, he's got the same six iron that he mishit back on 16. Yeah, so there's no room for that here. Yeah, exactly, as I was trying to say. Can't hit this one a smidgen fat, otherwise you, it would be wet. So you'll be careful you don't guard against that in the back of your mind and then just block it straight right. Well, again, this is solid contact and a very good line if the distance is okay. Oh, no, it's going to stay up there. Yeah, that's yeah, hit it too far. Yeah. No angle. Little blocked, little out too far to the right. Almost impossible to make three yeah. from there. Well, Tiger with 188 yards has got nine iron. Quiet, please. Now, this is into the breeze, so, I mean, he is looking at the front portion of this green as the safe part. Yeah. And if he can force it out there long enough, maybe he can get it down yeah. over the slope towards the hole. Maybe he could land it five yards short of that uh, ridge we can see in the green and just get it to hop over. He's got everything he wants. Almost 190 yards, nine iron. He's probably just wants to get it to carry 175, 180. That's all. <laughs> Drives it down there low. Yeah. That is a beautiful looking shot. You Got a feeling he loves it. it. There's the hook and over the road. That's magnificent. Yeah. What a way to finish. And the last time he walked on this fairway, in the lead, he had private first class Brandon Morocco, the first quad amputee to survive in theater, rolling along in front of him with Tiger applauding. It was one of the most emotional moments on a golf course that I have ever seen. Never forget it, David. Yeah. Tiger Woods would move to 74 wins all time, second behind Sam Sneed's 82. Now he matched Jack Nicklaus just a few weeks ago at Jack's own tournament. He's 36 years old. He could be, if he stays fit, if, it, if the knee holds up, he could be competitive with the kind of shape he's in for at least another 10 years. That's 40 majors. 40 You're going to make some sort of declaration that he's not going to ever win a major again, like people want to say? It's, it's no. He, ridiculous. I'm sure he's going to find a way to win one where we can get five more to beat Jack. Is, a, is better than most guys' careers. So it's all... Uh, and what he would take out of this is going to be the interesting bit learning again on a few on the few poor shots he's played but uh, pretty darn solid basically might just brush this one in mm -hmm. to close it out that'll do and another respect for van pelt he's going to mark He's going to have a final round two under par. And ben Pelt's going to have second place covered whether this one goes in or not. But first it's De Young. A tough day coming to a close here for 76. Well, he has a un uniqueness in his swing when he comes over the top and and started to miss hit it on the face and that's why they weren't fading back today but again that's as we, as we talk about well, part of the big learning curve is new new sensations in your body and your mind trying to compete on a Sunday afternoon especially on the stage with Tiger in it That's a 77 for De Young, which drops him out of the top 10.
What did you think of Bo's performance here today? Well, very steady, beautifully con controlled game, and then suddenly, when he the door was open for him on 16, he got a six iron in his hand. Tiger's laid up. If he could have put that one 30 feet in the middle of the mm -hmm. green mm -hmm. and put the pressure onto Tiger, who knows what's going to happen after that? We never will we'll, we'll guess that forever. But I think that was a moment, a poor miss hit, misjudged the. Um, Badly misjudged the lie on the bank. Uh, you know, that was another 60. opportunity. That there. was another Just one. Put it on the green. Yeah, that, that time. But again, that's that's a lot of experience. That's playing those shots. Um, as I said, uh, when they happen, you know, you, anytime you've got your, your right hand on the steel of the shaft, it takes out all the leverage in that club. And if you miss hit it, the golf ball goes nowhere. And that's basically what happened. Round of 71. Second alone. And another victory for Tiger. Seventy fourth career win. His third of the year. Woods picks up 500 FedEx Cup points, moving him to the top of the standings. And with 74 wins, Woods passes Jack Nicklaus for second place on the all-time PGA Tour wins list and becomes the first player to win multiple at t national titles. And this concludes this week's race for the FedEx Cup and the PGA Tour's coverage of the at t national from Congressional Country Club in Bethesda, Maryland.